Hello everyone. You're welcome to Fuco Mathematics. Here we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3. Okay, we're adding plus 3 to the power of x equals 12. Okay, so what should we do? If you add this up, you're going to have 2 of um, 3 to the power of x. And that is equal to 12. Okay, are you wondering how I got this? You can do it this way as well. Okay, from here, you can pick, um, we can pick 3 to the power of x as one of the factors. Then here we have 1 plus here again. Okay, here we have another one. Then we equate this to 12. So adding this, we're going to have 3 to the power of x. If we add this, we have 2. And this is equal to 12. Remember that this and this are the same thing. Okay, so what do I do? Divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. 2 will go with 2. Now 3 to the power of x is equal to 12 divided by 2 and that is 6. So from here, what do we do? We can now take the log of both sides so that log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 6. Okay, in case you do not know, we are taking log of both sides because we cannot express 6 to have 3 as its base. Okay, now there is a law that says the power, okay, the power like this is to come back here and multiply the whole log, right? So the power is to come back and that's what I'm going to do. So I have x, then log 3. It is only the power that comes here. So this is equal to log 6. Now, what again can I do? I still have x log 3 equal to log 6 here is the same thing as log 3 multiplied by 2. Now, according to one of the laws of... Um, logarithm we are going to have log 3 plus log 2 here so we have x log 3 to be equal to log 3 plus log 2 so this is to say that log 3 plus log 2 is equal to log 6 now we are looking for x we have to divide both sides by by log 3 Divide this by log 3, or better still, divide all through by log 3. That's the better language. Okay, we're dividing all through by log 3. This is going to go so that only x is here, and it's equal to this will go here, so that we have 1 here. Then plus, we have log 2 over log 3. Now, what can I do from here? We can apply change of base to this. As we have x to be equal to 1 plus log 2 to base 3. So this right here becomes the base. So this is the value of x. But then we have to put this back into the original equation which is 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x equals 12. So we have to put this right here to see whether it will satisfy the equation. Okay, so we have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x equals 12. Now, this means I'll be having 3 to the power of 1 plus log 2 to base 3 then plus 3 to the power of 1 plus log 3 okay log 2 right this is 2 to base 3 now what can i do i'm going to apply one of the laws i applied before so i'm going to have 3 to the power of 1 
multiply by 3 to the power of log 2 to base 3. Then I come here, plus 3 to the power of 1. Okay, don't go there. Then multiply by 3 to the power of log 2 to base 3. Now, if I deal with this, will I have 12 as the final answer? That's what I'm looking at. Sorry, there's nothing here, right? There's nothing over there. Now, from here, what I just did is this. If I pick one of these, I'm going to have this. Then I am to add the two powers to give me this. And the same thing is applicable here. Now, the law says log to base 2, log to base 3 can cancel this. Then log to base 3 can cancel this so that 2 is left over here. Now we're going to have 3 to the power of 1, then multiply by 2, plus 3 to the power of 1, multiply by 2. 3 to the power of 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 3 to the power of 1 again is um, 3 times 2 is 6. And at the end of the day, if you add this, you are having 12. So this is to confirm that x is truly equal to 1 plus log 3, okay, is log 2 to base 3, okay? So what we applied to get this was um, the change of base. If not originally, it was x equals 1 plus log 2 over log 3. Okay, I am saying this because sometimes the calculators we have will not give you log 2 to base 3 because most of the calculators are, you know, um, programmed in base 10. Okay, just like when you have log 10, if you press it directly, it gives you 1, right? This is because it is log 10 to base 10. Press your log hundred log one hundred it still gives you two because here we are to have log ten log to base ten rather so that you know, most of the calculators are programmed in base ten but then if you have this you may not be able to press calculator if yours does not have from um, the function right so if you can't leave it at this you will come down to this level and you drop it at this level remember this and this are still the same thing right okay thank you for watching and um if you love this video subscribe to my channel and um share to your friends thank you for watching this to the end